All right, so look at that area. See all that area right there? We drove through there. That was nice and clear like 30, 40 minutes ago. But they did say they have a lot of fires, so I guess it's over that hill because the wind is kind of blowing this way. But basically when we leave here, we're going to make a U-turn. We're going to make a turn and go down through there. We're going to head that way down into Oregon. It's probably about 200 miles from where we're at, where we're going to go into Oregon, catch 84 out of Ontario, Oregon, and head east. But anyway, we were parked over there. We went over the scale right there. He said, go through this building here. Parked in the big open area. This looks like a big open area. And he would meet me here. So he said that uh, on this deck, I'm gonna have 11, uh, 12 foot pieces, bundles. The problem is, is that right to here, from there to there is 11 feet. So we're gonna be sticking out about right there. So then all of this will start here. And um, we'll probably have product on here all the way to about right here. About right here is probably what we'll have. Of course, we can't use that one at all. So yeah, we'll, we'll have product to right there. This is a uh, Mack trailer. The one that I showed you the pros and cons to was a Dane. So a little bit different. If you notice, this, this one doesn't have any fixed ones. We have a little bit extra wenches here. We got two here, but we're probably still going to have to take a take our freehand ratchet and put it there. Probably put one there. We'll see about right here. We'll see how they all land. But we still have four up on the top and we still have a total of 10, five and five on this. So we have the same amount of ratcheters. It's just that these are a little bit different um, for us. And if we only get to here, this one won't do us any good. And there's another one over there. So those two won't do us any good. And I'm not sure how many bundles high this is going to be. So probably what I'll end up doing is uh, we'll see. But I'll, I might be throwing one strap on the first bundle, uh, the first layer of bundle. I, I don't know. He said it was the big stuff. So uh, maybe, maybe something like those right there. So it's probably only going to be two stacks. So I'll probably throw two and two. This is what we'll probably do there. We'll probably be good, and we'll be good. Don't look. I still haven't taken care of this thing. I've actually made it worse, to tell you the truth. <laughs> uh, I've made it worse. Really what I need to do, um, what they told me was where we came in over to the right was a little gravel area and that's where we'll do our uh, secure, securing and, and putting up our, uh, putting our tarps on. But I can put some stuff on here. Ouch. He says I did good. Yeah, I met. I met. Yeah, I got you. I got gotcha. you. So you can have one, two, three, four high. So they'll be thin. They're pretty thin. Oh, okay, so two and two. Perfect. Thank you. It'll work. We're gonna throw all four straps over the top. We're gonna throw them over the top.
He's pretty good. He's good.
8.15 in the morning, Tuesday morning. And uh, we got to this rest stop here last night. And uh, a little after 10 o'clock last night and shut down. I didn't get as far as I wanted to. I had about another hour on my clock. I was kind of in a no man's land situation with that hour and uh, I need to get fuel and uh, so it was it was probably just better to stop here I've stayed at this uh, rest stop before truck is right over there blue nose over there and uh, it's very quiet very quiet we're on US 95 in Idaho and uh, <laughs> I, this is a second time on this uh, road picking up lumber not from the same place, but uh, near the same place um, Yesterday pretty much all of the roads I traveled I had never been on before except for the section from um, to, to this location here, but for the most part most of what I traveled yesterday. I had never been on before Basically, we came over that mountain range over there I was looking and I guess there's a fire over there. There's a fire in that area over there that's where all the smoke is coming from but anyway beautiful area Whew. anyway we uh, we're gonna get rolling on out of here do a pre-trip and get going and uh, see how far we can get I uh, can't get to Moab today um, so that's a little disappointing for me uh, but we can get down I think we can get down to Green River See if we can get down the Green River. There's a real cute, cool museum down there that I've been in before. Maybe we'll do the museum thing. Anyway, oh, I'm tired today. I'm tired. Whew. Tired, tired, tired. But uh, this little rest stop has about, I don't know, six truck parking. But really, you can park all the way around this circle, all the way around, like this truck did. He's parked. Not in a truck spot, but he's not he's not blocking anybody. But uh, when I rolled in, there was two part spots left, and I got the outside one, which I like getting. And uh, yeah, truck stayed off all night. That's a good thing. Um, there's our load. little trick here so the black tarp what I did was I stopped it right here right here at the step so it goes down that way and then the blue tarp that I put on the top I just I don't worry about trying to make this because this is staying right here so it's covering what it needs to cover right there and uh, just brought it all the way out it, it could it, it could have been a little better up there but It'll do. Yeah, this uh, this load really kind of wore me out, man. I was I was happy to sleep in this morning, to tell you the truth. And uh, driving those roads last night were 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 fun. I love doing it. Um, I hope to get some good video on there. Anyway, we are good to go. Start my truck, do our pre-trip, and uh, we'll get out of here. Let's go.
done for the night. I wanted to go a little farther, but uh, I just got tired. And <clears throat> and uh, my plans had changed earlier this afternoon, so uh, we only got about 500 and 535. How many miles did we get? I forgot how many miles we did today. 535, I think. How many did we do? Let's see. <laughs> 55. All right. So we did 555 miles today. And um, we are in Wellington, Utah on Highway 6, about 50 miles from Green River, Utah. But last night while driving, I don't know if you noticed, but we had a headlight out. This light right here burned out on me last night. I meant to change it today on my 30, and I completely forgot. That's another reason why we stopped here, because I need to get those, I need to get that changed out because it's getting dark but i should have changed it today and i completely forgot man what a beautiful day look at that isn't it awesome awesome look at the sun over there Ooh, going down right there anyway i've stayed at this truck stop here in wellington it's a chevron they've got um showers in there that are really nice so we're going to get a shower <sighs> we're going to get a, a shower that's the part that's the part that got replaced on my turbo. Okay, these things right here usually just rust in and you can't get them turned, so pretty useless. And boom, now you can get to it. So that headlight right there, that right there. Turn that. Turn that little thing. Place that light right there. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I know I got a headlight. Pretty easy. Twist it. And there it is. And then the hard part is actually. And I might need my glasses. <laughs> it's a pinch, I think. I can't remember how this goes. That's a pinch. Okay. Cool. So what you do is you what you do is you pinch that right there, and it squeezes it because it locks it right here. <clears throat> so it's in there like that, right? And let me take this off. See if I can get you a better angle. So you pinch that. Pinch that together. I don't know if I did that right for you, but anyway, if you pinch that, it loosens those two clip, those little, the little hooks on there, and it comes out. So let's see what we do. That's been unlocked this whole time. Not bad. 